Hey Fit Fam, and welcome to my channel. I'm Holly Pink, I'm a certified personal trainer, and this is a video for how to use a balance board. So if you've ever seen one of these in a gym or anywhere else and just had no idea what to do with it, um, this is basically a wooden board with a little, I don't know whatever this is, little stand on the bottom that sits on the ground. So it's an, a very unbalanced surface, which makes it great for core exercises because anything that you do that requires balance requires core strength. So it's great for toning that mid body, it's great for um, glutes, back, abs, that whole area that um, is forced to stabilize when you're put on an unstable surface. So it's gonna work those muscles. It's also gonna help you to get better balance, which is great, especially as we age. Um, it's great for athletic training, a lot of different sports as you get better at your balance, coordination. Um, those are really important to have in sports and any type of fitness activity. I'm just going to show you some of the exercises that you can do with this thing, although um, there are many more that you can do. This particular board is from ProSource. It is wooden and it's got this uh, kind of asphalty type of material on it. So along with the video, I'm having a towel on hand because some of the exercises I'm going to do with the hands or even forearms on the board, so it's a lot more comfortable if you have a towel on there. So this is kind of good for providing traction for both shoes or a barefoot. Um, you can go either way, whatever you prefer. So let's go get to it. I'm going to give you some core exercises, plyometric exercises, and we're going to hit chest, back, and legs. And all of these, like I said, are going to be targeting your core anyway, even if it's not specifically a ab exercise or something like that. All right, so we're going to start with a glute bridge or a hip bridge is another name for it. This is great for activating the glutes and I like to start workouts this way because it's going to help these muscles which are often underused kind of turn on. So I'm going to start with a glute exercise and a core exercise. Those are my two favorites to start any of my clients programs with as well as my own again because it gets these muscles firing and these muscles firing and those are super important to be working in order to do all the ex other exercises properly. So all you're going to do for this one on your back, hands on the ground to support yourself, try and keep the board from hitting the ground, you want to keep it balanced, you're going to press up through your heels, squeeze those butt muscles. Pull your belly button in and hold this position for just a couple seconds. Slowly lower back down and then back up. Make sure you're balanced, down and up. You'll probably feel this in your hamstrings, your glutes, and maybe your core and even lower back as well. So you can do this about 10 to 15 times, a few sets of each. All right. Then, we're going to go to a plank. Alright, so you've got a couple options here. You can do an elbow plank on your forearms. And this is one you probably want to use the towel for. So just put that on top. So you can do an elbow plank where elbows are on the board. Extend the legs back behind you and hold this position. Or, you can do it up on your hands in a high plank position. So hands are either, you can go straight on top of the board, or you can go around the sides. So you're up this way in a straight diagonal line, belly button pulled in. If you want to make this harder, you can try tipping to the side, over to the other side, forward, and backward. All right, then from here, this is going to be both a core exercise as well as more of a plyometric, so it's going to help get your heart rate up a little bit more. This is mountain climbers. So I'm going to hold on to the edge of the board, extend my legs back behind me, and then you can do this slow and just bring one knee in toward your chest at a time. Or, like I said, you can make it a plyometric movement and run. It's a lot harder because it's hard to keep this board from wobbling. And you can do this for about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, from there, quick and easy transition to push-ups. So legs extend back behind you, hands at the very edge of the board. 
Elbows in by your side. This is gonna target the triceps a little bit more. All the way down, chest to the board, and back up. Try and keep the board from tipping all the way over to the side. Keep it balanced. And back up. 10 to 15, or as many as you can if you need to modify that. Knees on the ground, and push-ups that way. All right, that's upper body. Now let's hit lower body. Stand on the edges of the board as wide as you can. Get balanced. Once you're balanced, make sure your core is engaged, knees just a little bit soft. You can go arms out in front of you or arms back behind you. And you're gonna squat as low as you can, keeping that board balanced. And you wanna try and keep the weight in your heels and butt pushing back without the board tipping all the way back like that. Come down and up. Down, use the glutes and up. Turn the shape from this direction. Natural, it's a tip forward, but you wanna keep your chest lifted and butt dropping towards the ground. All right, so a few more of those. All right, so there's squats. Now if you wanna make that harder, just hold some dumbbells in your hand. You can hold some dumbbells right here. You can hold a medicine ball in front of you, so you can add some more weight and do things like that. Next we're gonna do lunges. So lunges are already a challenging balance exercise, but now we're gonna make it a little bit harder. Now you can do this two ways. You can put your front foot on the board or your back foot on the board. Front foot's probably gonna be a little bit harder. Um, back foot should be a little bit easier. So we're gonna start with the back foot version of this. Right in that bullseye, right in the center. Front foot comes forward and you wanna make sure both toes and both knees are straight and facing forward. Again, you could hold weights on this, down by your side, up by your shoulders. All right, so you're gonna lunge down, both knees bent at 90 degrees. Try and keep that board from tipping and back up. So now the other version of this would be to put the front foot on the board, back leg back behind you, and lunge. At least for me, this version is a little bit harder. All right, so there's lunges. So we've hit chest, core, a little bit of shoulders, holding those planks, glutes. Now we're gonna get in a little back exercise. So for this one, you're gonna need a resistance band of pretty much any type. You can either anchor it in a door or you can wrap it around something sturdy. All right, so there are tons of great resistance bands that have attachments and things you can put in the door. But say you've just got a basic, no handles, no anchor resistance band, that's okay. The other ones are gonna be a lot easier, but you can always make do with something like this as well. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have you tie it around a door handle. Additionally, if you have something like a banister, like you have stairs in your house and you can wrap it around a railing, you have a sturdy pole somewhere, that's a great idea. That's better than a doorknob. Um, but if you, So if you have like some sturdy piece of furniture that you can put it on, do that, but if you're kind of limited in your options, then the door will work fine. I'm just gonna take this, make sure the length is, is even, make sure the door is fully shut. Make a little tie. Additionally, if you need any resistance bands like this or the kind with the handles, the kind with the door anchor, the kind with an ankle strap, you can also get those at ProSource. That's where these are from. If you use code HOLLY15, you will get 15% off uh, of any purchase from ProSource, any equipment whatsoever. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can just click that, it'll take you there. And then just make sure you use the code. All right, so I got it all set up. Now we're gonna do a back row standing on the balance board. So grab your band from the door. Step on your balance board. And then you're gonna have a little bend in your knees, core pulled in tight. 
holding the ends of the band or the handles. You're gonna go palms facing in towards each other. Elbows stay right by your side. And you're gonna pull back. Squeeze your back muscles. Slowly let it back out. Come back, pull. Stay balanced on that board. There you go, a full body workout on the balance board. There's so much else you can do with this. Um, it's super fun, try out different things. You can always just stand on this too, both legs, one leg, and add in a set of dumbbells. You can do dumbbell curls, you can do dumbbell presses, just stand up on one leg and see what you can do. You can do lateral raises out to the side. You can even take that resistance band, put it underneath your feet, stand on the board, and then do resistance band exercises just like that too. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you have any questions, if you want other ideas, or if you have ideas of how to use one of these, please leave some comments down below and let me know. And until the next video, good luck on your fitness journey of renewing your body, your mind, and your strength.